Our top story tonight, Dorian, has not made landfall yet, but it is still wreaking havoc along the coast. Yeah, the Carolinas are getting the worst of that storm today. Take a look. The winds taking down trees and power lines. The heavy rain flooding low-lying areas. Dorian even spawning tornadoes. North Carolina's governor activating more of the state's National Guard, urging people there to stay alert. Get to safety and stay there. Don't let your guard down. Largely, everyone has heeded the warning to stay off of the roadways. We still have dangerous conditions present. Safe to say so many people living along the coast are keeping a close eye on the weather. At the same time, taking precautions and bracing for damage Hurricane Dorian could leave behind. WATE 6 on your side reporter Laura Holmes speaking with an East Tennessee family who calls Charleston, South Carolina home. She joins us now live here in the studio. So Laura, how is this storm impacting them? Well, right now it's just a lot of rain and wind. The Sandys have called South Carolina home for six years. They live on James Island and tell me they're lucky Lucky Hurricane Dorian hasn't hit them badly. Right now it's we're getting hit the hardest. This is rain and wind sweeping through Scott and Jen Sandy's backyard in Charleston, South Carolina. The winds are pretty, pretty gusty. We have a few trees down in our neighborhood. As soon as it calms down, we're going to kind of walk around, but there's a few trees down powers obviously out. They live about 10 minutes from the coast and say Hurricane Dorian has been unpredictable. Once we saw it was a two, maybe a three, we're like, oh, okay, because threes, uh, category three was like our max. Mm -hmm. So if it was going to be a four or five, we would have definitely stayed away. Yeah, and most of the homes are built to weather a cat three, so it's a lot more safe. Last week, the Sandys were visiting family in Knoxville. When they got home on Tuesday, they prepared their home. And our windows are hurricane proof, obviously up to a degree of wind speed. I forget what it is, but so we're, we weren't concerned at all about the windows um, okay. at all. Um, we did some sandbags, but again, we don't get a lot of flooding where we are because we're pretty high up. Um, on James Island. After living through other hurricanes like Florence, the couple feels ready for this one. We have our phones all charged, so we get on Facebook and, you know, everyone, all the local news and hurricane centers are updating their Facebook, um, doing live broadcasts, which is very helpful because right now we have no power. And so, yeah, we're just kind of sitting and watching the trees move <laughs> with the wind and, you know, just kind of hanging out until power's back. Adding to the stress of this storm, there have been tornadoes sweeping through parts of the Carolinas. The Sandys tell me where they live in South Carolina, they're not experiencing anything catastrophic and they have not had any tornadoes.